But I hope y'all can see me okay. Yeah, y'all should be able to see me okay. Let's see if I raise the seat up. Oh, that's a little bit better. Alright, I was going to do a totally different video, but last night I was so exhausted. I don't even know what the hell I see. I was that tired. Um, at the Petro here in Ontario. Give y'all an update on what has transpired and what my moves are going to be. So, I am uh, coming off the truck either in Phoenix or Texas. Um, I've let them know I need to go take care of family issues. That's how I'm positioning everything, which is semi-true. Um, and I'm going to go stay with my dad in Lubbock. At least for a period of 30 days, um, maybe 45 at the most. I've got to get 30 days reporting on a CPAP. Now, that may not rule out. I may be get out sooner, but that might be my kind of my home place uh, where I actually register out of for the truckload if I get truckload. Um, <clears throat> the reason is because truckload, I think you're home a little more with truckload. Like, I think the guy I talked to his home like every weekend or something like that. So you're home a little bit more with truckload. So my goal was to get with an OTR company where I can home time where I want it because I, I want sometimes I might say I want a home time in Oregon and I like that's one of the thing I like about OTR. I don't know that that's going to be possible with truckload, so I want to have a good base and my base would either be my aunts in Nashville, Tennessee, or my dad in Lubbock, Texas. However, my aunt now has a little boyfriend, so I don't want a home time there. I got time for old people lover stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's cute. Um, but let me kind of back up and tell you guys what happened after the whole incident with the T-call. So I T-called the load in, 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 uh, Europa, like I told you, they were supposed to get me an empty trailer to go get the next load, which would have put me in Casa Grande with a Walmart delivery of frozen stuff from a logistic or from a cold storage place here in Cali. So my company, as of three, maybe four months ago, they put a notice out that the yard that I belong to, and I don't know if I ever did a video on this, they're having issues with reefers, so empty reefers. So what they told us was that if you ever go to the yard with empty reefer, it'll be immediately removed from you if your load is not going to pick up immediately. Like if it's not going to pick up within an hour or two, then you, your reefer gets put into a empty reefer pool. And the reefers are supposed to be parked in a, in a lot where we park all the empty trailers. People aren't doing that. I can tell you that because of my experience yesterday. So when I T-called the load in Europa, they sent me what they call a trailer solution, meaning we don't have no reefers available for you, or here's where you go get an empty reefer, okay? Because I had to give up that T-call that load. <laughs> The empty trailer solution was for me to go all the way from Europa back to Compton, California, to a facility that I was I was more concerned was it going to be open yesterday because of the holiday. Because in Compton, they lock everything up. They lock their facilities down. All right, it's the rod iron gates because it's Compton. So when I went into Europa and I said, look, um, you guys sent me a trailer solution to go all the way back to Compton, which is an hour from Europa, which is Mira Loma. Do we have anything closer or do we have anything on the yard? So the girl I got first, her name was Veronica. Veronica's like, yeah, Shannon, let me look. She's like, girl, there's like five or six trailers here showing empty on the yard. Well, people are bringing them in, but they won't detach from them, and they're supposed to. But I'm not, I'm not going to let my company put me in conflict with another driver behind an empty because y'all are too cheap to go buy more empties what you need. Okay? You're going to love this. So at this point, I go back in, Veronica's not there, and I deal with this other chick who's just a total B. I didn't like her at all. I really want to deal with her. So she goes, well, you already have a trailer solution. I said, I know that, but you're sending me all the way back to Compton for a trailer, and I'm right here. Do we have anything close? Because I still have to go get the trailer washed out. I show trailers there. That's what we have for you. Calm, Shannon, because you're done. I'm done. I'm packing the truck today. I'm off the truck within sometime this week. Everything's off the truck. Me and the company are done. Okay? <laughs> Fuckers. I'm done. And I've already talked to my dad, so I'm most likely on my way to Lubbock. 
right after that. I'm hoping what they do is give me a load going into Dallas, and then I'll stop through Lubbock, unload everything at his house, so I don't have to pay for storage in Phoenix or any of my stuff. And I don't really have a lot. I have two bins of food in here, which is really canned goods, oatmeal, paper plates, condiments, chips, anything what else? Salsa. That's it. That shelf over there, that holds my dirty clothes, so I'm going to wash everything, and we'll get it all folded. Underneath the bunk is my very big, large duffel bag. I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else under the box. And then on the sides, I have some tools. That's it. Let me get those. On top are some shoes, and I have a little styrofoam cooler, which I'm going to put something in just to load it up. It'll be like a storage thing. But I'm packing everything up, the truck, doing a cleaning tonight. Everything will be packed up. Um, I got some rugs I'm throwing away, a couple of rugs I'm keeping. Uh, if I get to Phoenix, I need to get some big trash bags. I'm put the rugs in trash bags and store those. But I'll be in Lubbock for a minimum of 30 days, a maximum of 45 to 60. And then I'll just intermittently stop in and hang out with Grumpy. But I then had to... Compton, okay, because they had no trailers. I'm telling my dad the whole thing. One of the guys I talked to there, he's a driver too and a trainer. He told me he had told them about this Ralph's yard, and he had told them five months ago that they can, or that sleeper cab should not be on that yard because it wasn't designed for it. He said it took him all of like 40 some minutes to get his in, and he had to have a guy detach from his trailer and also have an extra space in order to back his truck in. And he said, even then, he barely missed the wall, okay? He made the suggestion, hey, Shannon, call the customer and see if the customer has anything. The customer had no empty, so I talked to our customer. Her name was Alma. And Alma said, baby, I don't have any any empties to load for you, but if I get one, we'll get you preloaded. And if you're, if not, we'll live load you when you get here. I said, well, Alma, I'm looking for a trailer right now. I don't know how this is going to work out. So at this point, I leave the yard because there's nothing on the yard, and I head to Compton. Ask these people to ping the trailers. This little crazy ass makes this comment that they had trailers there for me. I get to this facility. Only kind of trailers they have for my company are dry van and container. No reefers. Matter of fact, when I got there, the security guy looked at me. He said, reefer? He said, we don't get those. He said, you talking about the thing with the big cooler on the, on the back? I said, yeah. He said, ma'am, this is a dry facility. We're not a cold facility. We don't get those. And I said, well, sometimes we'll deliver loads dry in reefers. I said, but it would be strange for them to leave it here at a non-cold facility or a non-food facility. Okay? He said, ma'am, we don't get those. He said, well, go ahead and drive around the yard just to make sure. So I drove around the yard. Not a big yard either. I did call. I'm getting out the gate. I get Abby. Abby's another. I didn't know she was dry manager. I thought she was customer service. I get her. I was hot. So Abby, you know, I don't like Abby. Abby's okay. There's some people in the office I like. They try to do the best they can to help you. There's others that are worthless. Europa's a little bit better. Well, way better than, than, than Salt Lake. So Abby, she proceeds to say to me, uh, and I'm trying to use a mic, so I'm hoping this mic works. The mic, the mic, the mic is right here. And I just put it right here because it should pick up whatever I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel funny holding the mic. Um, Ab Abby tells me that they have a... Uh, trailers at Fontana. Now, for y'all who ain't familiar, I'm now an hour away from the terminal I was at. I went to the window and asked for trailers closer. Asshole chick tells me they're going to have trailers in this Compton location, which they don't. I call Abby. <laughs> y'all don't even know I went there with her. It's, I told her, I said, you get my humor and you get my sarcasm. I'm happy you do. because It's going to be on right now because I'm so frustrated. I go, (laughs) 
I go to Compton. I get to the edge of the gate right as I'm exiting. And I'm like, Abby's on the phone. I said, you hear this guy? She said, yes. I said, say what you said again. He said, we don't get them kind of trailers here. I said, Abby, I was just in your room. I asked him, did you have a close trailer? The little girl sitting in between Veronica and his old lady. Go tell me they had what I what, had what I had trailers for me here. I said, I don't know what the little smart comment was, but I'm here and ain't shit here. So I don't know if she's really being a bitch and knew they wasn't here. I didn't say bitch, but I said being special and knew they weren't here. She said, no, Shannon, I show we supposed to have three reefers there. Okay. I said, you know, Abby, I worked for this company back in, cut that. I worked for this company back in 2010. And it was not run this poorly. I said, I ain't never done drugs a day in my life. I don't even smoke. Cigarettes, not. I might have a glass of wine every so often and a cocktail. I don't smoke, I don't do any kind of marriage, anything. I've never done any kind of drugs. I said, but dealing with y'all, y'all make a person, if you make a fat woman become a crackhead and get skinny. She busted out laughing. I said, I'm happy you understood that. I said, because it's crazy as hell. She said, Shannon, I'm checking. I'm checking. I said, okay, keep checking. She said, you're going to hate what I'm about to tell you. I said, y'all got some over in Fontana. She's like, yeah. She said, I'm showing nine trailers. I ping them. That means they're getting the satellite signal from them. And they're there. I said, okay. I head all the way over Fontana. Yes, I do. And when I get to Fontana, what's interesting is that all the day cabs and a few sleeper cabs are all hooked to all of the empty trailers. I go to the window, talk to the dispatch. You know what they tell me? Now, my load is supposed to pick up yesterday. <laughs> they told me I can't have any of the empties after they check them because those day cabs are hooked to them because they're going to get loads the next business day. Today. That's crazy as hell. So, basically, <laughs> I'm, you get ready to get better. We got nine trailers and none of which I could get to. So then they sent me over to Walmart and Target DC, of which I'm told by them, we don't give you back your own damn empty. <laughs> Baby, we don't give you back your own damn empty. Crazy as hell. So I U turn in that yard and I call a customer because I called a customer earlier and I talked to that Alma lady. And I, this time I'm late because I told I told Alm, I told Abby I said Abby I'm gonna be late for this load because I don't have a trailer. I need to go out of the trailer washed out once I do get a trailer if I get a trailer. I said but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna do a couple more stops and after that we're gonna be done with the trailer search. Shannon chasing her asshole is gonna be done. I got to. Walmart, Target, D.C. And when the lady told me that, I called the customer. And I talked to that Alma lady at the customer again. The cold storage place. She said, hi, baby. She's really sweet. Really nice lady. She said, did you get an empty? I said, no. I was trying to see if you had one come in yet when you could preload. She said, no, baby. We haven't gotten any. I said, well, ma'am, I called you earlier today around 12 noon. I said, I've been looking for trailers from 12 noon. Now it's almost 6 o'clock. She said, are you serious? I said, yeah. She goes, they have you going to different places. I said, yeah. I said, so I'm going to let you know. Obviously, I was supposed to be there at 4. That's not happening. She said, baby, enjoy your New Year's Day. What's the number? I gave it to her. She said, I'm canceling the whole load with your company. She said, they can deal with it later. She says, you have a good New Year's and good luck to you with that company. I said, I apologize. She says, honey. It's not you. We already know what it is. Thank you. Bye. Have a good New Year. So, last night did it all for me. So then, I get on the Qualcomm and I tell them, look, I've called a customer. The customer told me they're canceling the load. I cannot find a trailer. 
I'm not looking for any more trailers. You guys need to get me a load that's preloaded, and I want to go back to Arizona, or I want to go to Texas. I, I just on Arizona. Alert, butt boy. Alert, butt boy. He proceeds to call my cell phone, which I'm not answering. I'm not. And I just basically told him it's a prepaid service. I don't get good service. And he's talking about, can you call me? No, no, I'm not calling you. I said, whatever you need to say, you wrote this call call. You put this shit in writing. I want it in writing because I can go click. I take pictures of everything. That's okay. I don't play. I don't play. I even took pictures of the service failure, pictures of the time I got there, pictures of what a service failure is. Service failure is because you didn't arrive on time. I arrived on time. That's what a service failure is. So y'all need to work on that shit. Um, so, at this point, I, uh, I go ahead and I bobtail over, because that's all I have is a bobtail, from where I'm at right this point is Fontana, which is just up the street from Maryland. My terminal is 10 minutes down the road. I park in front of Petro, and what I'm doing right now is waiting. Because some executive decisions is going to be made between now and Wednesday. All of a sudden, Butt Boy said, oh, I got a good run for you to Texas. But you still got to go look for a trailer. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> you, you can come out here and look for a trailer if you want to. I'm not moving this damn truck. Now, you give me somewhere I can go and get a preloaded trailer, and we can talk. Otherwise, when does Becca come in? I, your driver manager shows that she's going to be in on, on, on Tuesday. Okay. So, unless you give me something going to Phoenix, Arizona, we don't have anything to discuss and preload it. I won't be looking for any more trailers. If I hook up my crook, I'm going to end up in Phoenix sometime this week. <laughs> As we your truck. <laughs> you fucking with the right one. You jacking with the right one. Okay? I'm trying to work with y'all ass, but you you have no idea what I will do to get home right now. And this will be on the yard. I'm not going to do anything rash, but it will be at the Phoenix Yard. Yes, it will. I'm trying to work through because what I'm hoping they do, honestly, I'm hoping that what they actually do is give me a load to Texas. That will be the ideal load. And I will then take the truck to their Lancaster yard and it'll already be cleaned out because I'll go through Lubbock, deliver everything to my dad. All I need on here is a bag and then I'll take a bus ride on back to Texas, to, Lu to Lubbock. Worst case scenario, I end up in Phoenix, take a load in, deliver it there, or T call it there, that's pretty much what I would do, and then go ahead and put myself in storage there, and then bus ride from Phoenix to Lubbock. I hate flying. I could call a friend of mine who's a flight attendant, and I could probably have a flight out of here. Actually, I could call her. I just thought about it, have a flight out of here, but I want my stuff off the truck. So I bought stuff for the truck that I really want, and I use, if I take a flight, I couldn't take everything. Um, so not anything else is major, but I don't want to have, I've replaced stuff in trucking before, and it's really expensive. I don't want to have to replace stuff if I don't have to. So... At this point, I'm calling the truckload company tomorrow. I was going to call him today, but then my friend reminded me, since Shannon's a holiday, that man's not going to be there. So I'm going to call him tomorrow. Jose, thank you for that information. I'm going to call him tomorrow and first thing and see. Uh, and I don't know if they have anything out of Lubbock or out of Phoenix. If I get Phoenix, then I could just really just, hopefully, I don't know how, how quickly they're, uh, what do you call it? their orientations are but if i can get phoenix and get approved then i go through the truckload company there if not it takes longer then i would have to do it out of texas because i'll be with my dad because i will be in lubbock within a week i'll be in lubbock no later probably than the end of this week coming up early next week end of this week most likely <laughs> i'm done so yeah my time with this company has come to an end um and I'm trying to do things as properly as possible. Like I said, I sent her a very nice email. I didn't tell her I'm ending it, but I just told her I need to get home. And I need to go deal. I need to deal with some stuff with my dad anyway. Because I already had to have talks with his doctor. So part of what I'm telling her is true. I was just really stretching my time a little bit longer with these fools. Um, but my days were done. 
it this this right here it did it for me it did it for me when another driver told me he five months ago he told you take caps to go to this location it did it for me when i'm just going on a hunt for trailers it is it's it, it's just and, and when i talk to your customers and your customers are disappointed i mean it just the lady was very the customer was so nice that's what i like about reefer is reefer customers are really normally very professional and um, not always, but normally. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, and, but for her to even the comments, and I'm not really going into detail on my discussion with that lady, but she was a very, very sweet, very, very nice. And that, when she said, <laughs> and I didn't really, I just told her because she could tell by what I was saying. You know, I don't, I don't ever down them, but I just said, ma'am, my company had me do this. I've been running around. I've been out here four or five hours looking for trailers. Uh, this is my experience. This is what's going on. I'm not gonna sit and lie for this company. You know, I'm going to places we have trailers, but unfortunately they're not willing to unhook the day caps from them to give me a trailer to service you because they have another load that they're gonna deal with tomorrow. And I guess that's more important than this one. I mean, I don't, I don't know to tell you. So, you know, you may want to discuss that with them because there are empties. They just are attached to trucks that I can't get to. I'm just saying, and I'm very sorry because I've tried to service you. And then there's empties at some of our other customers who, how you can have the nerve to keep another company's equipment and basically say you can't pick up your own shit. <laughs> That's some boldness. But then look at how bold and checked up my company is. They basically are saying we don't really give up about the customer. So the lady made the executive decision to cancel the load. Enjoy her New Year's Eve. I ain't mad at her. Um, so that's what's going on with me. Um, I was really pissed off last night. I slept kind of because my mind was thinking on everything. So I'm still here in Cali. But what I realized, and a friend of mine said, he said, Shannon, you always say God doesn't let anything happen for no reason. He doesn't. And so what today has done is I'll be working on packing up everything on the truck. Truck will be fully packed up. My clothing is going to all be packed up. Everything in a big duffel bag. Everything's going to be on top. Only thing that'll be in, in a closet is what's in this bin. And then the, the clothing bin is going to be here, but it'll be empty. So, because um, that way I can just lift it out. Um, worst case scenario, if I decide to just leave the truck here in Rupa, which isn't the goal. The goal is to go ahead and get to Phoenix. It's easier to unload it there. But if I do, they can have that bin. It's like a little three, three bin, and I'll just be able to carry most of my stuff off of here, with a few exceptions. Anywho. Oh, yeah, so I'll tell you about these loads. So they then send me loads to, oh, he offers a load to Texas, but I had to go find a trailer. Then they finally, because I talked to this one dude who's the one who didn't answer the phone properly, I sent him a message. And he then um, comes back with, you just came off home time. I said, I got family issues. I didn't ask you no shit about what I just did. You owe me days. They owe me days from when I was back in training. It don't matter when I take my shit. None of your damn business. And so I told him, I said, I have family stuff. I said, so if you can't get me a load of Phoenix, when is Becky? Is she there tomorrow? Okay, we'll deal with that. So then all of a sudden, they're going to send me this long run to Utah. I declined it. I'm trying to get to Phoenix. Uh -huh. One way or another, I'm getting to Phoenix. <laughs> Y'all can choose to work with it or not. <laughs> shit. Anywho, um... Be blessed. I did complete my year and then some because I actually completed more because I started in October. So I actually completed a year in a couple of months, including the fracture. But um, I'll let y'all go nice no more uh, once I get everything cleaned out the truck and once I solidify what the next corporate move is. And I am so sick of people with they. What is it that makes these male these people think you want to see their pants hanging down their ass? It's just insanity to me. I don't get it. It's crazy. Anyway, peace, y'all.